Hi, question number 10. A tank containing water is in the form of a cone with vertex C. The axis is vertical and the semi-vertical angle is 60 degrees, as shown in the diagram. At time t is equal to zero, the tank is full and the depth of water is big H. At this instant, a tap at C is opened and water begins to flow out. The volume of water in the tank decreases at a rate proportional to the square root of h, where h is the depth of water at time t. The tank becomes empty when t is equal to 60. Show that h and t satisfy the differential equation of the form dh over dt is equal to negative a times h to the power of minus 3 over 2, where a is a positive constant. Second part, solve the differential equation given in part 1 and obtain an expression for t in terms of h and big H. And for the third part, find the time at which the depth reaches half big H. Okay, so how are we going to tackle a question like this? To be able to prove this, okay, first of all, the volume of water in the tank. What is the volume of water here? So I'm going to say that um, the volume of a cone or the volume of water here is going to be equal to one third pi r square h and of course this r here is something that we need to find and this information has been given in the question 60 degrees h okay so how we can find r by using si i mean circa two you can say this is opposite this is the adjacent so r is equal to um, h times the tan of 60 degrees so that means r is going to be equal to root of 3h so we can immediately put r into this formula here by saying v is equal to one third pi r square which is root of 3h to this square times h and that's going to leave us with pi open 3 times uh, 3 uh, h squared times this is going to be h cube and this is going to go we have h is equal to I mean we have v is equal to h cube okay so there we go now v is equal to h cube pi so if we have v is equal to um, pi h cube okay we can find dv by dh that's going to give us uh, 3 h square pi so this is the volume with respect to the height we are also given that uh, the volume of water decreases at a rate proportional to the square root of h that means um, dv decreases is proportional to the square root of h in other words we're saying dv over dt with respect to time Okay, and all of that's going to be equal to k root of h, which is h to the power of half. Now, this is dv by dt. We can connect these two by saying that, um, let's pull this off here. What is dv by dh? dv by dh is um, dv by dt times dt over dh. Okay, so dv by dh we know is 3 pi square so we can replace this by 3 I mean 3 h square pi is equal to dv by dt which is k h pi I mean k h to the power of half and then we have times dt by dh now over here we can send this all all that here so we can say 3 h square pi divided by k h power half um, is equal to dt over dh now remember this water is decreasing that should have been negative okay so that should have been negative therefore we have a negative here and a negative somewhere there all right so we want to find the edge of a dt so but first before we do that what what is the thing that we can do here is um, we can say uh, 3 pi over k h to the power of 2 my divide by h power half Okay, it's negative 3 pi over k times h to the power of 3 over 2 because if you take 2 minus half you're going to get 1 and a half which is 3 over 2 
and that's going to be equal to dt over dh. In other words, we can inverse this by saying, therefore, dh over dt is equal to um, k, all right, divided, I mean, by uh, 3 pi h to the power of 3 over 2. We can say minus k over 3 pi, okay, to the power of uh, h, I mean, times h to the power minus 3 over 2, the law of indices. And this is going to be much more, I mean, resemble this, okay, so what we have here is dh over dt is equal to minus a, h to the power minus 3 over 2, and there it has been shown. So we have to show that it satisfies where a is a positive. So we know now that uh, a is equal to k over 3 pi. So this is the first part to the question. Okay, for the second part, uh, we need to solve the differential equation in part 1. And as we know, this was the differential equation. So how are we going to solve this? First of all, we're going to separate the variables. And uh, by doing that, I have uh, dh divided by h to the power minus 3 over 2. And do the integral of that and integrate with respect to minus uh, a and dt. Now, the a can go outside because the a is a constant. So we have an integral of h to the power of 3 over 2 dh minus a integral of dt. Immediately, if you integrate, you raise the power to 1. So that's going to be h to the power of uh, 3 over 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2. And then 1 divided by 5 over 2 is 2 over 5. Is equal to minus a. Integrate this, you're going to get d plus a certain constant c. And now from here, how do we proceed? When we um, check out the question, we were told that, okay, um, when t is equal to zero, the small h is equal to big h. In other words, we're saying that uh, this t is equal to zero and this h is equal to big h. Therefore, we have 2 over 5 big h, 5 over 2 is equal to c. And of course, um, now this is going to make our equation look something like, um, then again, okay, so we have also when uh, t is equal to um, 60 in the question, h is equal to 0. Okay, so um, when t is equal to 60, we can replace this by 60, and uh, the h is equal to 0. So we can put this as 0. So we have then 0 is equal to minus 60, all right, uh, a, all right, and then plus the, um, plus the c, and we know that c was 2 over 5, all right, so two, uh, plus the 2 over 5 h to the power of 5 over 2. If you rearrange that, you should be able to get A as uh, 1 over 150 H to the power of 5 over 2. But you have to do the rearrangement. This comes on this side, the 5 multiplies, the 2 goes down, and then you rearrange, you make A the subject formula. So basically now what we are doing is we're looking at uh, a differential equation that looks like this 2 over 5, okay, H to the power of 5 over 2, is equal to 100, 1 over 150 times h to the power of 5 over 2. Okay, and uh, that is a, all right, and then times t, this is a times t, then plus the c, plus uh, c basically is 2 over 5 h to the power of 5 over 2. Now from here we need to express t in terms of small h and big h. So we are saying then that 2 over 5 h to the power of 5 over 2 is equal to I can say h to the power of 5 over 2 over 150 t right plus if I want you can times this by 6 uh, by uh, 30 
to make the denominator the same, so 60 over 150, which is basically 2 over 5, h power 5 over 2. So, um, h power 5 over 2 over 150 is common. So, h power 5 over 2 over 150, that is common into t plus 1. Okay, that is going to equal to 2 over 5, h 5 over 2. Now, from here, you're going to have to do the arrangement. And uh, what are we looking at is that um, we need to express t. Mm. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So this can come here. Alright, so 2 times 150 divided by 5. Okay, over big H, 5 over 2. That is equal to t plus 1. To do that, it's going to get 60. Alright. And uh, well, the 2 over 5, there was also h power 5 over 2. h5 over 2. That's going to become 60. Okay. h to the power 5 over 2 divided by h to the power 5 over 2. Alright. Um, then this was supposed to be. 60, sorry about that. Because if you look carefully, this 60, 60, 60, alright, okay, that's cool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to minus the 60 here, and then t is left on the other side. So we have t is equal to 60 into h over big H, and both of them to the power 5 over 2 minus 1. And that's okay. So this is T expressed in terms of big H and small h for the second part. And then for the third part, we need to find the time at which um, the depth reaches half H, I mean half big H. So all we need to do now is we're going to substitute this H by half big H. So for the third part, we want to find the time, so that's going to be 60 times um, half h over h to the power of um, 5 over 2 minus 1. Okay, so basically, um, what are we saying then? Now, there's one thing here is that um, there was a negative here. That could be expressed as then 60 into 1 minus h over big H to the power of 5 over 2. That could be the answer. So this one here, the time is going to be 60 into 1 minus half h over h to the power of 5 over 2. So the h and the h go out and I've got time is equal to 60 into 1 minus 0 0.5 to the power of 2.5. Okay, so let's do that in our calculator. I've got then 60 times brackets uh, 1 minus 0 0.5. Okay, let's put everything in brackets. Minus uh, 0 0.5 to the power of um, 2.5. And here we are 49.39. So the time is 49.4 to three significant figures. All right, so here we go.